Good morning, you're watching Mirror Now. I'm Sanjana Chauhan. The highly anticipated Chandrayaan 2 mission faced a snag after a communication breakdown with the Vikram lander in the final moments before landing. ISRO chief announced that they lost contact with the lander during the crucial third stage of the descent phase. Now, Vikram lander was just 2.1 kilometer away from the moon's surface. In an announcement, ISRO said that the data is still being analyzed and that the lander's performance was observed till the last moment. The Prime Minister will be addressing the nation at 8 a.m. today. Control Center, Vikram lander descent was as planned and the normal performance was observed up to an altitude of 2.1 kilometer. Subsequently, the communication from lander to ground station was lost. The data is being analyzed. Repeat, Vikram lander descent was as planned and normal performance was observed up to an altitude of 2.1 kilometer. Let me quickly go across to my colleague Shrija, who's standing by from the ISRO Center in Bengaluru. Uh, Shrija, give us a sense of what actually happened moments, uh, really 2.1 kilometer actually from creating Luna history. Uh, what's going to happen next? Well, clearly what would have been an historic feat, we see that uh, just before final moments that we're talking about, uh, we see that from the ground they lost contact at the communication with uh, especially Vikram Lander. We're also looking at at this point in time where soon after this happened, uh, ISRO chief uh, Sivan, he also, he looked really glum. There were several uh, scientists, including uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who were also here at Bengaluru campus, the ISTRAC, to witness this particular event but however what we are looking at this point in time the ground situation is like they are trying to establish uh, contact once again but we do not have a final word uh, from ISRO themselves so we will have to wait and watch what really is the status at this point in time but what about space enthusiasts what about uh, people common people here in Bengaluru speaking to them what they're telling us is that they clearly haven't lost hope completely on ISRO what they're saying is that nothing have been lost and they will try and retrieve uh, the data. Now, let me go across to these students uh, who are right here at IISC. Well, thank you for joining us at thank this you. moment. Uh, can you tell us what really uh, you think could have gone wrong? What were your expectations? Hey, first of all, we should not tell that we have lost hope and this not, mission is not unsuccessful because actually we know that mission has three parts like orbiter, lander and rover. And orbiter is still orbiting towards the moon. And most of the cost to ask the orbiters. I still, we are, from our orbiter, we are, getting, we are getting the data. So, major part of the mission is successful. Now, come to the lander and rover. Since lander and rover, is, we lost the communication just two kilometers away from the moon. So, it's not lost. It's kind of we are about to achieve. So, somehow, communication has been lost, and our scientists are trying to find the communication. They will get something. If they would not, then also we, they can analyze that. And if they will analyze the actual cow, then next time we'll achieve it. So we are proud of our scientists and we, are, we all are, we are students are with them. So if not, then next time, next time we'll do it. So we should not say that mission is unsuccessful. First of all, I request all of you and everyone, don't say that mission is unsuccessful because major part of mission is successful. Okay? Right. Only the few part, few percentage unsuccessful. If not this time, then next time we'll do it. So. Well, there you have it from a student over here who says, uh, in fact, uh, not to be dejected about what really happened. And uh, there are scientists who are trying to establish contact with the uh, Vikram lander. And of course, uh, they are also trying to repose the faith on us as well. Back right, Srija, absolutely, because this is no uh, mean feat because India, uh, having achieved even so much, is actually, tr uh, you know, tremendous. Let's just move on. The Prime Minister, who was present throughout the process, also encouraged the tense ISRO scientists and said that the country was proud of them and that they had his full support. Look, in life, people are coming to और जब मैं देख रहा था कि अब कम्युनिकेशन ऑफ हो गया है, तो मैं देख रहा था आपको सारे चेहरे एकदम से हो गए। लेकिन ये कोई छोटा एचीवमेंट नहीं है जो आप लोगों ने किया। देश आप पर गर्व करता है, और आप इस मेहनत ने बहुत कुछ गाया भी, और 
जैसा मुझे बताया सब साइंटिस्टों ने अगर फिर से कम्युनिकेशन शुरू हुआ तो फिर तो ये बहुत सारी चीजें हमें देता रहे तो होप फॉर द बेस्ट लेकिन मेरी तरफ से आपको बहुत बधाई है बहुत उत्तम सेवा की है आपने देश ने आपने बहुत बड़ी सेवा की है विज्ञान की और आपने बहुत बड़ी सेवा की है मानव जात की इस पड़ाव से भी हम बहुत सुख कुछ सीख रहे हैं आगे भी हमारी यात्रा जारी रहेगी और मैं पूरी तरह आपके साथ हूं हिम्मत के साथ चले और आप ही के पुरुषार्थ से फिर से देश खुशी बनाने लग जाएगा मुझे विश्वास है विश ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू Let me quickly go across to Dr. B N Jha, scientist and retired Joint Director of DRDO. Good morning, and thank you so much for speaking with Mirror. Now, uh, what we have achieved is definitely, you know, not something small. It's extremely, uh, you know, remarkable. It's tremendous. Uh, you know, we obviously can use something to lift the somber mood up, as the Prime Minister rightly there pointing out uh, that all is not really lost because whatever said and done, India has still managed to make it so far. Well, we have achieved so much of things in this uh, particular Chandrayaan two that you know you can you can make a list of first so many. This was the first time when we have used the GSLV uh, 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 Mark three for these sort of purposes. Secondly, the GSLV has lifted four thousand kgs of of the uh, the payload into the Earth orbit. Thirdly, this is the first time such a huge payload. Uh, was put into the lunar trajectory uh, uh, to about four lakh kilometer plus. Fourthly, the lunar ins insertion, such a heavy payload, uh, getting into the uh, uh, lunar gravity and then inserting there in that, and then entire thing being brought to uh, very close to the surface of the uh, moon, uh, into hundred into hundred kilometers where right now orbiter orbiter is uh, orbiting. Is as such a phenomenal achievement. Fifth, the separation of the lander from the orbiter. This was attempted for the first time. Sixth, the lander that has worked absolutely fine from the day from the moment of separation from the orbiter. It has further, you know, gone into the orbit, the desired orbit of 30 into 100 kilometers. Thereafter. The deorbiting maneuvers, all that has been taken up. Everything has worked absolutely pinpoint pre with the precision. So much and so that even the last, uh, till the last few seconds, it was absolutely following the path that it had been uh, designed for. So everything has been, you know, achieved that we were looking for. Now, of course, last moment, uh, what has gone wrong is, uh, as you know, I have served in the Indian Air Force for 29 years. Right. I have done a lot of aircraft accident investigation, CAT-1. What I have seen it there, uh, I feel there is a communication loss. There is only communication loss because the lander had artificial intelligence automatic landing system. And all those systems we have seen have been working absolutely fine. I will not be surprised if in another few hours or another few days, the lander uh, sends the uh, uh, communication either to Vikram or directly to the Bangalore center that it is alive and it is performing. I will not be surprised. And that is what I am looking at it. Right, right, absolutely, Doctor Shah. I think we're all hoping for, uh, for, for you know, for that good news to come. But let's also actually consider, as you rightly pointed out, that only perhaps five percent of this mission uh, was not able to be completed, or there was not uh, any communication that was established because ninety-five percent. So the Vikram, the lander, and the Pragyan rover, uh, the remaining ninety-five percent, that is the Chandrayaan orbiter, two is still orbiting the moon successfully, right? Absolutely, it is it is orbiting there, and uh, you know right now orbiter in is in the orbit of about 100 into 100 kilometers, 100 into uh, 127 kilometers or so, and every two hour it is making the visit to the pole. So 
every time, every two hours that it is passing the, the designated landing site where the, uh, probably the lander is right now uh, somewhere. So I'm not, I will not be surprised that it's a high resolution camera, it's a radio camera. Uh, they pick up the lander and then give some detail to us. Right. So all these are there. I mean, you know, the, uh, when we are talking, when we are talking one to one, some are saying that it has not been achieved so many percent. ISRO scientists are still sitting on all those chairs, all those consoles, every moment trying to analyze uh, what is coming and what is not coming. You know, all these things are happening. We are, we and me, or, or the, some, some other people may say that, okay, last three percent we have not achieved. ISRO is still believing that there is something to come from there. And let's hope for the best. Right. Uh, Dr. Vian Jha, thank you so much for putting that in perspective. Uh, stay with us. We also spoke to rocket scientist Dr. Anita Sengupta to help us understand the possible communication breakdown and what the consequences of those actually are. Well, I, of course, I am speculating, so I don't want yes. to represent anything from ISRO, but my understanding of the landing sequence was that during the final breaking phase, it would get down to around 400 meters, and 400 meters is when it would begin the hovering stage. So if the um, if they only seem to have gotten data down to 2.1 kilometers, and that means that we don't know what happened towards the end of that final breaking stage, we don't know whether it went into that hovering stage. Um, the one that I wouldn't say, what I would say also is that um, if they lost the signal from the orbit, that could be because the orbiter stopped communicating for whatever reason, which means the data was still transmitted from the lander to the orbiter, but we haven't seen the rest of the data. So that's why I don't know right now, and they haven't said. They just said that the data stopped being transmitted. We just don't know if that's because something happened to the lander, either it's telecommunication systems, or something happened to the link between the lander and the orbiter, or if something happened between the link from the orbiter to Earth. So those are the things which we're going to have to spend the next couple of hours to look to see whether or not we get any additional information. But it could also take of the ISRO team a lot longer than a couple of hours to make that kind of determination. But because this is a telecommunications, um, a potentially a telecommunications thing, we just don't know whether or not the lander stopped transmitting for some reason because the landing didn't go as planned, or if it just stopped transmitting for some other reason, or we simply didn't get the data back for some other reason. So we just don't know enough information yet to be able to tell what happened. And but I can say that um, 400 meters is the point where the hovering stage was supposed to start happening, so we don't have data that takes it to that point. Let's quickly also go across to Suresh Nayak, uh, joining us on the phone line, the former director of ISRO. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much for speaking with Mirror now. Uh, as everybody has been saying that this in itself is a massive achievement. Uh, so while the somber mood is in fact uh, expected, it is understood, one cannot take away from the success of the Chandrayaan 2 and the ISRO. You see, what has been achieved is uh, really not a mean achievement because uh, Orbiter is uh, doing its work perfectly around Moon. It is sending data, and it will be there for one year. And uh, as far as the lander is concerned, uh, it uh, traveled uh, down to the Moon uh, for almost its entire journey of 30 kilometers. But uh, the last uh, two kilometers or so, uh, the ISRO's Bangalore Center has lost contact with Vikram. Now, uh, analysis is going on about what information. Till then, on the telemetry, uh, the lander was sending to our center at Bangalore. Uh, that particular input and when the orbiter will come again, on the top of the lander in the next revolution, it will also perhaps give us more information about what has happened to the lander on the moon. Actually, what is uh, being uh, discussed by the scientists that uh, there is a possibility that the antenna on the lander might have got damaged and that is why the communication might have stopped. But if that particular damage is not irreversible, then there is a possibility that after a certain time, because, you know, there are 14 days actually we have right. uh, when the sunlight is going to be there. 
Mm -hmm. So in the 14 days, it is possible that the lander may get revived and it may start again working. Right. So one can be optimistic about that particular thing. Even otherwise, let us say that under the worst condition that it does not get revived, that then I would say that ISRO has done a commendable job because if you see that every uh, crucial step, ISRO did it uh, perfectly as per the textbook. And this particular, the last, uh, you can say, you know, three minutes, right. actually, of a journey, something has happened, right? Mm -hmm. So there is fantastic learning experience, mm -hmm. and uh, ISRO uh, will uh, take lesson from this, and uh, uh, the whole country stands with ISRO, right. and they will again make an attempt and come out with flying colors. I'm sure about it. Suresh Nayak, former director of ISRO, thank you so much for speaking with Mirror Now. India is definitely proud of its scientists and what they have achieved. We slip into a short break right now, but stay tuned. More news and updates on the other side. Welcome back. Uh, at about 8 a.m. this morning, the Prime Minister will be interacting with uh, uh, what he says were hard-working space scientists at the, at the ISRO Center in Bengaluru. Let's remember, he's going to be shortly addressing the media after that as well. Uh, we have been bringing you the latest from ISRO. Now, let's uh, quickly go across to the other attempts uh, by the other countries that have been made across the globe. Uh, trying to make their mark on the lunar surface. But let's remember there have been times where many missions nearly missed their goal. Mankind could reach the moon for the first time after nine attempts. Now, even after the first successful attempt, there were many instances when countries didn't reach the moon because of launch issues and lunar landing issues. Now, let me actually uh, take you through what just happened five months ago where Israel was set to achieve the historic feat of reaching the far side of the moon. Unfortunately, Bereshit, a private moon mission by the Israeli non-profit organization, lost communication and crashed. Let me quickly go across uh, to our guest who's joining us this morning and still with us, Dr. V. N. Jha. Uh, sir, thank you for, uh, for still staying with Mirror now. Uh, we have been talking about other countries and what they've attempted as well. Uh, perhaps uh, another reason for India to really celebrate it for having gotten so far. Absolutely, there is no doubt at all. It has been a success mission right from the day go. And what has happened in the last few seconds is something, you know, we don't know exactly what has happened, but this doesn't undermine the success story. Everything is a success. What, uh, uh, the, uh, what a rover and the lander would have done on the surface is surely something which would have been more valuable. But leaving that apart, the orbiter is still every two hours it is making the uh, circle of the moon and it is going through the polar uh, orbit. So that is uh, giving us every day all those informations. And remember what rover was designed for was to study the moon surface. Yesterday we had had an elaborate talk uh, with uh, the previous astronaut, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, I think his name is uh, uh, Neil Neil Stephen or something was the name and he was telling us how difficult it is uh, to venture on the moon's surface and he was also expressing that the very purpose you know every everyone was hyping that uh, there is a water there he said he was very skeptical yes water could be there in some form it could be in the molecular form it could be in the frozen form but the moon's surface where there is no atmosphere at all the likelihood of water is very, very remote. It is only those few very deep craters where the sunlight doesn't go. That is the place where the water could be in some form. You know, that is the that is the underlying word, what he was mentioning. In some form, it could be there. So, uh, never mind. Right now, Orbiter is doing its job. Right. It is doing all those things what uh, uh, entire Chandrayaan 1 was there to be. So, it is going to be there. 
absolutely notably even though the communication with the lander vikram and the rover pragya has uh, not been established as yet the orbiter uh, at a you know 100 kilometer orb orbit as we have been saying remains functional uh, with the eight working science payloads dr vn jha scientist and retired joint director of the drdo thank you so much for speaking with mira now and that's a wrap on the broadcast stay tuned keep watching mira now